going on, everybody? Welcome back today, guys, Hello to there, the channel. And today, to Forza Horizon 5, Horizon 5, we got a brand Let's new go Let's Go episode 7. Games. Uh, today we're let's just jump right into this for today. So don't let this schedule fool you, because there is a whole lot of new gameplay to see as Playground takes us through the early stages of the single-player campaign. Things. We'll actually see your question if you start typing we start. it now during the show. Is it a saving it until the bell? Ben, what are we going to be seeing today, then? Hey Charlie, oh, how it works mechanically? We're going to get stuck in, unlock some stuff, um, and just kind of talk our way through. Hold on. It. Really, really exciting Wonderful. stuff. Hold on. Can't wait. And lastly, you want to open this quick? I don't have enough room here. Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Look at this piece right now. BenQ EX 3210R. This is a nice piece right here. Uh, this is going to be either going here. Or we're going to be taking this monitor here and putting it there and then putting this monitor over there. So I've yet to decide, but really, really nice piece. Huge thank you to BenQ, Mobius. Make sure you guys go follow them down below. We're going to go ahead and unbox this uh, very soon. 1000 R curves, 165 hertz, 90% DCI P3, QHD, 2560 by 1440. You've got this man running. You know it's quick when the man's running like that, right? Oh my goodness. Huge thank you, BenQ. Ooh. Quick look at this beast. Holy shit. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, superior sound. We got speakers on this one too. It's the most curved monitor I've ever got. Look at that. Look at the curve on this thing. Oh boy. I put this back in here. I need to get back to the stream here. Hold on. I got to get back to the stream. <laughs> Hi Charlie, pleasure to be oh. here. We're going to talk about like, Thank what you we just sent a banger over here. Horizon 5. I can't wait. And this I man's like got a full sim rig out here. Let's go. With the Rutherford right Thrustmaster TSXW out here. Let's go. Represent. Got the, the sparkle wheel as well. Showcase event. So we're going to set the scene now. Today we're going to be playing on the Xbox Series X as always. But where are we jumping in first? Let's make sure my settings are right uh, here. Yes, so uh, the show two weeks ago, we saw the very, very start of the game. We saw that mm -hmm. initial drive, and we saw the sh first showcase event that takes you know, after that. The, uh, the there is actually captions. a Horizon Story chapter. You're going to do this gameplay now, road racing, because we think that's the best at this stage in the game. And now you're going to do some cross-country or some off-road, or we're going to introduce skills and stories. This campaign has kind of thrown most of that out of the window, apart from the kind of early setup that Mike spoke about. And it's largely said, you tell us what you want to do, and we'll give you the tools to kind of make that happen, but in a much more interesting way than we've maybe previously done. Um, and the interesting way is the adventure. So I am going to go to a screen that kind of summarizes all of that. But just before I do, I will say, Goal of the Ooh. game in the Horizon Adventure is to get onto the Hall of Fame. Chris, this will the, fix it. The game doesn't end there. Okay. Tons and tons of content. Um, and to get to the Hall of Fame, you have to earn something called accolades. No, and we'll go into like those a in a second. But let's have a look at the adventure, behind. adventure screen really quickly. Look at that. Oh, oh that is so Whoa, that's sick. Look at that. Sorry, I'm trying to be professional here. That's but a wild looking map. That looks like kind of like Canada's Wonderland right there. Tons and tons of fun. Loads what ride are we on. hitting first, let's though, Bill? Oh my God, we got I mean, our plane tickets from the left. Balloon. Right, let's have a so let's have a look at what you can There's do. There's a lot. When look I at them speak all about left. going on an adventure and giving players the tools to like unlock the gameplay they want and and tell us how they want to play through the campaign, this is exactly what I'm talking about here. We've got Horizon Baja. That's the home of cross country racing. You unlock this. You unlock the cross country racing. You unlock a, t um, a ton of other gameplay opportunities as well. Not immediately with that. You'll have to kind of expand that outpost when you do. I can show you a good example. We've already built Horizon Festival Mexico. I mean, technically it was built when we arrived. We, we're not the architects of that. But let's have a look at the gameplay that's available there. So. We've arrived at the festival prayer. site. We now have a so nice we have little kind of missions Mexico. now to hit up You've here. already seen, and we took part in that amazing showcase on a wing and a prayer. Um, car versus playing, but with a twist. We know what the twist is now. Um, street scene for me at first, kind of I think. What are you guys going to hit up first here? I think, I think I'm going to go street scene. Cute, adorable map. Um, so I think we're going to go on an adventure, and I think we're going to open a new outpost, right? That's the plan. That's plan, street scene, come on, street scene, street scene, street scene. Yes. Come on, you mentioned accolades. What are accolades, Ben? I don't know. I'm sure Charlie doesn't know either. Tell us what they are. I don't know either. I Actually, wonder no, what they know. are. So let's go through Mike, that. Mike, right. I hope you know what they are. What? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully someone here knows. World maps kind of <laughs> zoomed in as well, too. It does look pretty cool. Hands up. I do know what accolades are. So as you can see, at the top of the screen there, it tells us how many we need to earn for our next chapter. So we're going to go into the accolades menu, and we are going to see I like the, uh, tons of categories. I like the art design. Really importantly, thousands of accolades. 
caveat here, we're not asking the players and we don't expect players to complete every single accolade in the game. What we are saying is whatever you like to do, there'll be a good collection of accolades for you. It might be that you like to do a bunch of racing and you like to do some PR stunts and some skills as well. It might be that you like to do just kind of online stuff and we've got a whole bunch of categories in there. Um, that's the There's kind of beauty six, of accolades, th and they extend beyond ones, the holy. campaign. So once you've, you've reached the Hall of Fame, so you've unlocked everything on the adventure map, and you might think, oh, what else is there to do? Accolades are this beautiful way of having this collection of bite-sized challenges that let you kind of mop up the things that you still haven't done and just extend your game. And I think we'll extend it in the ways we have done with um, Forza Horizon 4, where okay. we're delivering new content. Early campaign, we would expect many players to go through this is the kind of regular Horizon mm -hmm. way map, piece of content, set your route there, take part in the content, what are you going to do next? Let's take part in this, and we'll go there and do it. Um, but if I go back to Free Roam now, we can see that we have a pin, Horizon Mexico Circuit Rookie, complete Mexico Circuit, and I think we should head off and do it. Why is my quality Stand so high. trash? Mark, do you want to do a <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> Oh man, there's my lighting. I forgot to put my damn lighting, lighting on. Our, our can we get out of cockpit view? Some amazing features. It's got a drag strip running through the middle of it. Oh yeah, he's in the sim rig. No wonder. Okay, that makes sense. Called the Horizon Tour. You can go there, Nobody you can drives third cars, person on sim rigs for some reason. I don't know uh, why, man. I'd love doing it. People and group up and go and do some racing. It's also built into drag strip there. And, a, and abandoned racing circuit. So uh, all of this, like, sort it's of hard where to the see roads you kind of see now that. is an awesome uh, abandoned race circuit, or at least it was abandoned until the Horizon Festival arrived to breathe. Well, you even got him on the far left. I didn't even notice it. him there. Um, and now, Mark, if you, now, I'll let you do it now, Mark. If you want to go drive over to the uh, start location for the <laughs> Horizon Festival circuit. Um, you are released. Right <laughs> I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. Cross right the just that. straight yeah, that's the only way. That's the best way. Corvette, Corvette in its natural habitat there, going across yeah, the, uh, absolutely the, fine. <laughs> the embankment. It's a bit bumpy. <laughs> there you go. It'd be cool if you had a little damn actual right, motion here rig. Here is our target. This, I think we're ready. Um, any any bets on where Marco's going to finish? Um, well, he really struggled in rehearsals. So. I know, I know. <laughs> do, we, do we admit that uh, our finely tuned campaign balance requires a win? Uh, Otherwise, the way, the way that we have set this up for the demo purposes, yes. Um, no pressure, anything guys, less than no. a win will actually really ruin the rest of the show, Marco. He's like, wait, what? We got a win? Than Andy. No pressure, and Andy's so one last stream, so I, I do think you Can know. Can he do you it? He's got three laps here, to do so. Cars are actually pulling on him right now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! I'm gonna Marco, try my best. You, you, so, as always, you are on a wheel. Why don't you uh, tell us about that? Yeah. So. I think what we really did this time is actually investing and improving the wheel experience. And okay. what we did is actually improving the handling and focusing on the force feedback code implementation to actually capture more details and He's create a whole new experience when you're driving with the wheel. And you can tell right now, I literally lost the back end and the wheel told me immediately and I could catch the car quite easily. I'm, by the way, I'm on simulation steering and traction control off. So just to make it a little bit I don't bit know, tougher. he was on sim steering. And okay, let's see him, uh, right, let's here see him we lose are. it here. I can <laughs> definitely feel everything that this car is doing, I feel connected it's to cool the road. It's cool seeing the Jeep up there, too. That thing is hauling on Oh, my God. And if I put a wheel on the off-road a little bit, oh, there you go, it feels immediately diverse. And that diversity is different across all cars, across all tires. And that's really important. Actually, really, really expand the experience and the engaging when you're driving with the steering wheel. And now, let's let's get back to the race, guys, because I'm still sixth, and uh, apparently I've been told I got to win this race, so uh, <laughs> got to put some effort in it. Oh, here, here we go, another thing, the braking. The braking have massively improved. So we're now mm -hmm. basically calculating the Mustang brake force based on how big the, the disc are, how many pots there are on the brake disc system. If it's a disc, if a ceramic disc, is a cast iron, is a drum disc. <laughs> so now I need to focus, guys, because the skyline ahead of me is definitely using some some turbos. <laughs> and I'm on an <laughs> old-fashioned... Quiz him, Charlie. Yeah, in fact, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go off a, a little bit uh, here. I think there are a couple of people in chat who are asking, you know, you personally, Marco, if you have a preference of just playing on, on this camera, because I think some of them would be keen for you to change it. Obviously, I want you to thrive the best way you change try. Change it. But I just, Let's go, Marco. Do you have a preference for this camera over the wheel over others? I do, actually. I do prefer to drive from this camera. I think you have a better indication of, of what the car is doing. But, you know... Mm -hmm. I follow many YouTubers. I'm, I'm sure they're following us right now. But hey! And uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I really, I really, actually, I'm impressed how guys you drive from from Follow Cam and um, yeah, 
touche. It's fun, um, man. You gotta try I, it. My, I much prefer driving from this camera, to be honest. These or the hood camera is actually another good option for driving with the wheel. You mm -hmm. have you, you feel more connected with the car is doing. Perfect. So you mentioned nice that um, you've though. improved the brake system. I have to ask, as someone who is sort of, I mean, when I play sports, I'm very much lap, on the he's off make this. style of the racing and uh, and hooning around. So what improvements have you made to off-road handling? Well, that actually is a very, very big topic. I think he's higher level, it. we improved both the suspension and the tires. For the suspension, we actually went to town and improved a lot about the preload spring force but not only the progressiveness of the damper and the progressiveness of the bump stop as well. We actually have hydraulic bump stop and, and everything that actually goes in really, really low amount of detail for what concern mm -hmm. the suspension for off-roading and rally as well. The big improvement we've done to the off-road as a whole is actually we're now simulating the interaction with the t between the tires and all the different surfaces on the ground that actually massively changed the way tires feel when you're off-road, depending on if you're on slick or if you're on rally tires. Yeah, so let's talk about how we build an outpost. So we don't just we don't just select Horizon Apex here and then it just gets added to the world and all the race events are there. No, what we do is we undertake what we call an expedition towards this festival. So here we go. This uh, expedition for Apex is a Tullum expedition, weather a storm on the road to Tullum. So we're going to start this and we're going to um, have an expedition become available to us, which we are going to take part in with a little and all your progress and all of that just kind of ticks along nicely. Here we go. Oh, God. Away we go. Ooh, Away we go, yes. okay. We're going to have sound now in this car? Yeah, I think we do. Now we're all going to have to pay close attention now. Oh, we've got a plane. I'm yeah, I'm listening. Follow the I route the into the part, storm. That's cool that we actually have a plane like following the, uh, around. The game do the talking. Oh, oh. I will guide you from the air. And pray the weather Getting goes. a little bit stormy on the distance here. Is it just me? Or does that sky <laughs> I love the chat. <laughs> that storm over there. there looks so mean. You can't question whether we should be driving the water. <laughs> so they're both running the same vehicle here, looks like. We got the one man on the wheel. Is he using the wheel right now? Is this Marco driving? If it is, I'll be real happy. The plane coming back in. That's so sick. going down to with it that's cool all they need now is some cutscenes in the middle of all this right they kind of cut it down it'll be cool I don't know if this is Marco that we're driving with here I think it is actually oh yeah absolutely I saw that Marco but I do like though, it's just a, it's just a convoy going to the destination, man. That, right? That's pretty cool. Find Romero in the in the Elk Balam. Lots of rain coming up from those tires as well too. I found a secret. Oh, slow down now, slow down. Oh, okay. We have a little cutscene now. Cutscene. Oh, here we go. Imagine. Imagine we can get out of our damn car. Oh my goodness. Find a location on the Horizon Radio so Beach. Photographer. A little now. Photograph uh, so the Jade statue. Octane. We were chasing. Reach the top of the uh, central room. Rami in his plane. We were heading out towards the. Uh, we got quite a few objectives here. This is actually pretty cool. Ancient ruins site now, and we're heading out to heading out to have a little bit of a little moment to explore, to soak it in, to see what secrets we can find. This has been here for thousands of years. 
Any eagle-eyed viewers will know that this is uh, one of the ruins we went through in one of the very early episodes of these live streams as well. You're putting in your own radio yeah, station so tower. Really That's like the cool. Change of pace in this. It's one of my favorite things about expeditions. Uh, these exploration zones. I think they're just really nice to really soak That's in cool. the atmosphere. Tornado just comes and takes it all away, man. Thank you, EX3210R. Uh, just a huge thank you to BenQ for sending this over to me. Um, I will leave the link for all BenQ products down below. We're going to open this up as well, too. But um, this is going to be the new monitor Very for Forza Horizon 5, everyone. essentially. So I'm really excited to get that rig set up here. As we saw earlier on, um, if we you pick up the feed, guys, don't know. <laughs> uh, the Rami had to take an emergency landing. Uh, another cutscene, heck around. yeah. Kept, kept him waiting a little bit while we explored the temples, but uh, yeah, we went Ooh, and, there we go. picked him up and uh, we Ooh. carry on. Into the eye of the storm. That is I'm sick the sure way they just fine. did that there. To worry about. <laughs> Finally, we concept. have some proper cutscenes, man. I know they can do it, right? They do it all the time from the trailers. Little, like, cave, this little, like, That's cool. Cave. Yep. Um, it's gorgeous in here, full of atmosphere. I'm just going to have a little, little look around. Before, Truck's uh, fine, right? Yeah. You probably can't shoot up there now. Yeah, because this, this, this not a race is absolutely a race. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely something uh, fresh to the career mode. I think they've definitely, you know, nailed not just racing. It's now just, you know, different paths. You have different side missions to do. Um, I think it's a great idea with what they've done here. Also adding in the cutscenes, giving it life, right? You got the voices, the audio. Oh, wow. Really, really cool. Look at nice overtake. Right in the grass. Man, I just want to play the game, man. I cannot wait for our demo to hit us, right? We got to get a demo sooner. It's been, what, it's now September 7th here. October, it's got to be you know, mid, maybe October, I hopefully. Think this will be the perfect spot. I think you're right, my friend. Accolades, I you can everything there. Ooh, okay. okay. Yep. So what is the car collection screen? Before we go, Ooh, any questions for Marco, cool. throw them at him. Any physics questions, yes. handling questions, anything at all, go oh, yeah. as you like. Um, <laughs> oh, look at all the Nissan. Uh, yeah, Holy. So we are now looking at the uh, car collection. Uh, um, GTR, SE, so S15, As we think about R33. the campaign, we've talked about the um, Also, a, a cool feature of the car collection screen is that you can just hit 1. Y 5. and purchase a car with a click of a button. Uh, and just like that, you have spent 1.5 million credits. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, be Thank careful. God, it's not but let's go through the new slider that we've added so you can actually customize the way the force feedback and the steering wheel works the steering off-road fuel scale and road so, fuel scale as we're turning we always have the force feedback scale the center spring scale the damper scale that hasn't changed at all but we now change the way the mm. me mechanical trail so this one actually allows you to change so up or down the suspension comp um the next question I here it's the one you all want to know all right everyone sit down strap yourself Which one? in so bjork Which one? wants to know Will we be able to experience the diverse atmosphere of Mexico with a demo? Um, so whilst we Whoa. are dedicated to building the biggest and best Horizon game ever, um, we will not be releasing a demo. Uh, we will be sharing loads more what? info on the game over these streams like today? over the coming months. And whether you're playing on, on Xbox, on PC, on wow. uh, Xbox One, no Xbox demo? Series X, Xbox One X, we will be releasing footage oh. of all of those in the coming weeks, things like that. So there's, there's, there's something for everyone. Wonderful. And talking about coming back week after week, that's the end of the show. So you'll have to come back to another one to find out what we're talking about next. Uh, you can hey, also keep up with all the okay. latest that was actually pretty good news today. Update. Here we go. Oh, we didn't get to say bye. Episode 7. We're done. Uh, huge thank you everyone for coming around for today. We got some new gameplay, some new racing on the wheel. We got some new force feedback inputs. Uh, we also got... Right, we got all the new information about the handling physics. Uh, we got no demo info, unfortunately. Um, that was a little bit of a shocker, to be completely honest with you. But we still got some new footage today. And uh, obviously, the game will be releasing sooner than later. So make sure you guys do mark your calendars. Uh, just a huge thank you once again to BenQ for sending over that beautiful monitor, man, for the Forza Horizon 5 rig. We're going to be opening that. And uh, right, we're definitely going to be setting that up very soon um, on this rig behind me over here. So huge thanks for watching for today. Let me know your thoughts down below on everything from the Let's Go stream for today. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow on the channel. I'm out.